In this video, we'll see the third type of filter that is filter by tag. Now, what exactly is a tag? Suppose you have different artifacts and different folders and that is assigned to you, right? So what you can do is you can find out those artifacts, give a tag to them. And when you open the next time your uh, rational dose next generation, you can find out whatever items are given to you for your review part or whatever things uh, you have to verify. So what you can do is that is nothing but filter by tag. So tag, you can say it's a thread between all the artifacts which binds them together. Immaterial of the folder which they are put in, immaterial of the artifact type, immaterial of the person created or date modified, anything. So tags is one thread, you can remember that. Now what I can do is I can just open this um, filter by tag option and if you see there is some blue color text which is written blue color text it means it is shared tag by everybody okay everybody can see that whereas the green color tag the text which is written that is only by visible by you so if i click on any one tag core functionality so it says these are all the artifacts which have the tag as core functionality now why the name is given as core functionality because they want to find out this artifacts belong to that particular main functionality itself if I click on this release one, you can easily understand that this artifacts all are belonging for release one itself. So when you go for release one, these are the artifacts itself. So now if you want to click on this, if you do not want any artifact by tag, I'll just click on this clear and it will be gone away. Now if I want to find out what are the artifacts by this shared artifact, you know, shared tag. So this is by five artifacts which the tags are given. Now I have clicked here, this artifact came. How do I come to know whether actually it is there? So what you can do is I'll just keep my cursor on this place like this and if you see it says this text or this name is given here where it is yeah here it is and if you see the tag symbol is given at this place power one. Now what I can do is if you want to actually find out in any artifact when you open any artifact so this is the artifact given on the right hand side yeah right hand side here if you see that's a tag given here so it is possible that one artifact have multiple tags okay so what i'll do is i'll just take an example i'll go back to this folder now i'll take an example first i'll clear this tags and uh, open any folder let's say features folder now what i'll do is i i want to create a tag for this let's say five artifacts so i'll select this five artifacts Okay, and what I'll do is I'll create a tag for them. I'll create a new tag. Let's say user, let's say tutorials point. So I'll say here as you have the option as select tags for five artifacts. So when I say select tags for five artifacts, I can either select the uh, this one, the already existing, which is shared, or I can create this, find out this tag itself. So, but if I want to create my own tag for the first time, I can click on this new tag. If I click on this new tag, what is the name of the tag you want? So I'll say as tutorials point. tutorials point how do you want do you want it personal or shared i'll say yes i want shared and you can write the description all artifacts belongs to tutorials point all artifacts belongs to tutorials point i'll click on ok and uh, yeah sorry ok and i'll click on okay so if you see here it, it has come into this blue color okay that means it is shared with everybody now and i'll click on blue, blue color itself now if i want to find out at any point of time i want to find out what are the artifacts belonging to tutorials point i can just go to this filter by tag and i'll click on where it is tutorials point yeah this one tutorials point so if i click on this tutorials point if you remember i've given five artifacts so these are all the five artifacts belonging to tutorials points so this we can easily find out that was one method of creating a uh, tag but also you can see there's an option as plus sign so from here also you can create a tag and you can put the artifacts which should belong in. so this way it's a thread given between different folders and it can uh, easily find out what are the artifacts belonging to your tag itself so i hope you were able to understand how to create a tag make it to a, into a personal tag or you can see as a shared tag and it can be visible to different people itself that's all for this video.